Servus, alle miteinander. That was Bavarian. I am your German snob, and I'm here with another episode of Let's Play Postal 2. First things first, I actually managed to pick up that bulletproof vest by crouch jumping. So, well, that was harder than anything like that should be, but then on the other hand, it could have been worse. So, what is coming up now is a boss fight, or, well, the closest thing to a boss fight this game has. So here we go. You think you can take Crouchy down? And here we would fight Crouchy. And I'm saying would because he has a rocket launcher and a shotgun. And he's almost unkillable if you um, try to shoot him. So that might in fact be something that we rather wanna avoid. Which means that we are just going to uh, run away instead, but first let me pick that up. These are scissors. These scissors... Um, yeah. As I said, these scissors can be used as uh, throwing weapons. Basically they are like makeshift... Uh, is that the word I'm looking for here? Well, they are a poor man's shurikens. And that makes them, I don't know, somewhat useful, but you can use them in a way. Um, they have kind of an alternate fire mode in which they bounce off of walls and stuff. They ricochet off, is what I'm trying to say here. And I guess that makes them semi-useful. Do I have another health pipe? Because that would be great, but I do not think that I have one. Um, nope, I do not. Well, fine. But we can touch our Grotchy doll. I'm calling my lawyer. Mama said don't touch me there. Don't touch me. I'm calling my lawyer. Daddy said only he can touch me like that. And I think that's all. Uh, it's great, wonderful. Let's move on to the next thing. Get Napalm. Yeah, that should be the one that is closest by from here, so I'm going to be seeing you there. So yeah, see you in a minute. And here we are, at least in the general area of where we can buy some Napalm. It's in that building there to the right. That factory that is enriching the local water supply with their healthy and nutritious chemical waste. Uh, but what we need is napalm. And personally, I love the smell of napalm in the morning. It smells, as we all know, like victory. So that means we are going to buy some. And as you can see, it's advertised right here. Napalm entrance. So that shouldn't be too hard. At least I hope so. Just gonna get right in there. Pay them and get out of there again. Hey! Hi there. Hello, miss. I need to buy some napalm. Uh, to kill weeds in my lawn, as far as you know. That'll be 300 bucks. Well, I just happen to have that money on me. Go down the hall and to the left, then follow the path to the canister. You can't miss them. Sounds reasonable. Fine. Hi. So, down the hallway and to the left. Uh, okay. That, of course, means another loading zone. Because how could it not mean that? It's... <laughs> Basically, if it... If there is a chance that there would be a loading zone in this game, there probably is. Right there, Mr. Scientist Man. Look out! Yeah. So, she said that I can't miss it. If What's I just that? follow the hallway to the canister. So, that means I'm going to do that. What an interesting looking place. Hey, what? 
so I'm just going to follow these signs, yeah. What are the chances that something bad is going to happen? I'd say they're pretty high. So, what is your guess? Who is going to invade this factory? Well, it remains to be seen. But for now I'm just going to follow these signs and I think here we are. That's just what I need. Precious, precious napalm. Ah, time to parte with Mr. Napalm. Does it? Oh no, well that is a problem that I will uh, start to solve by saving my game now. Unless I forget. Now we have six shots with this thing. I feel like shit. So... Gotta save those. Damn. Should have seen that coming. Yes, I should have. Now, where do I go? It seems like not all paths are open to us still. Can I duck through here? Yes, I... No? Yes? No? Yes? No? No. I knew that stuff wasn't good for me. So, where do I go? Probably over there. Because that is the only way open to me now. Crawling through the air vents. As if this was Half-Life. What do we have here? Some health packs. Man, not gonna stop smoking this that is I very good. Need more of that. Uh, I'm kind of sad that you can't stockpile yeah, health kits. Ah, that's the stuff. Because if you could, um, you'd have a health item that is not as problematic as the crack pipes, which will sooner or later, of course, uh, damage you. Do I want to go down there? <laughs> well, do I have a choice? No, I do not. I see some first-person platforming coming on, though that does look fairly tame. I am completely going to safe scam this whole part. Because these things can be frustrating as hell. Okay, so... Go over there. Though maybe not over there, but... A bit further down here and then over there. All hoping, of course, that I won't fall off, because that would suck. And I don't want that to happen. And now I jump... Up there. I think... Can I get up there? Uh, I think you know me well enough to know that I hate these kind of parts. It's... Platforming in first person, especially if the controls are as clunky as in this game, is not fun. Say what you want about it. It's, it's just not... Can I? Yeah. Well, who's surprised that that happened? So, am I going to make a cut here? Because something is telling me that maybe I should. Yeah, probably not a bad idea. See you in a minute. So, I made it here. And what happens here is that... 
these pipes are going to break down, which it only makes it more complicated for me. But I think what I have to do is jump from here down there, which is in fact pretty safe so I can't complain, then get up there, and from here on out go over there. And that wasn't that bad. You bet that I'm going to save here. That's what I'm going to do. Can I piss out the fire on that thing? Nope, but it was worth a try. I'm not going to bother with it further. Just try my best to. Yikes! Da 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 and so on and so forth. Well, I'm still doing pretty well in terms of health. <sighs> hey, remember what I said about safe scamming? Because that's what I'm going to do here. Can I avoid the fire by ducking? I can. Can I just go through here? Yes, I can as well. Just to lead to more first-person platforming. Well, that doesn't look too bad. But I'm sure I will experience at least one sheep. Oh, they're going... Well, they're sinking. Of course they are. I should have expected that. Yeah. So, is it just me, or... So is it just me or is this whole part a, uh, a Half-Life reference? I mean, you know, with the scientists all around and the air vents and the platforming sections that are awkward as hell. It kind of feels to me like that. <laughs> Saving. So the question is, how do I go over there? Because I don't think I want to jump down there. Uh, but just for the sake of confirming that, I actually have to? Seriously? Well, it would look like that was that. We just escaped the uh, Napalm Industries factory building. That was kind of an interesting part, I mean, I can't say that it really worked because... <laughs> well, you know, I stand by that. Platforming sections in first-person video games are always very clunky at best. But at least it was somewhat different to what we've seen up to now in that... You know, we didn't actually have to fight our way through, but it was more of a... Well, platforming... Kind of thing. So, I can't say that I actually minded it. it. It wasn't that bad. And I think that's a pretty good point to stop recording for today. So, as you all know, I'm your German snob. This is Let's Play Postal 2. And I'll be seeing you next time. And until then, Pfiat euch!